Good morning, dear professors, dear members of the State Attestation Commission, as well as undergraduate students. Let me start today's qualification test defense. Today is the last part of our defense. And as the first uh, one is program Bayerka to Maris for the qualification paper is about task-based activities in teaching foreign languages. Scientific advisor is senior teacher of English linguistics department. Good morning, dear teachers and students. Uh, I'm Kuramaiva Tumaris. Uh, I'm going to present my work to the topic test based activities in foreign language classes. Uh, the top uh, it consists of uh, consists of uh, introduction to chapters, uh, conclusion, reference, and appendix. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like uh, to tell that my dissertation, uh, uh, our dissertation work has been done according to the to the president position uh, position on the development strategy on you uh, on you. Uh, Uzbekistan uh, for uh, 2022-2026 dated January 2028. Uh, uh, it is now that the license of this, uh, nationality, uh, nationality uh, consortiums and the expression of uh, uh, so mental spiritual dependence between uh, generation uh, are uh, apparent according to uh, the language. The main objective of all uh, of all uh, of all our reforms in the field uh, of the economic policy is the individual uh, and uh, the actuality of the problem. Uh, in globalized world, uh, international news plays uh, a crucial in ensuring that citizens and the businesses keep to our uh, developments affecting their lives uh, decision. Uh, Making, uh, making for too long, perhaps uh, international news has been uh, done, uh, done according, uh, dominated by English language. Uh, nowadays, the English language is being used really in Uzbekistan. Uh, English will become uh, one of the most, uh, one of the most dominant, uh, uh, dominant in education uh, English language. Uh, Subject of the research is test-based activities in foreign language classes. Uh, object of the research, according uh, uh, according uh, to the goal, this uh, this work uh, this work the subject of the research test-based activities in foreign language classes. Object of the research is uh, or is development materials, uh, development learners thinking activity. Uh, creativity uh, so uh, uh, so uh, has been approach the aim of the uh, the aim of the research uh, uh, this aim conducting uh, conducting this uh, uh, this study is to assist teachers, uh, teachers uh, in implementing uh, in generation uh, generation uh, uh, a structured of, uh, approach to uh, task-based learning. Uh, uh, novel the, the work analyzes the work analyzes different views. On the importance of uh, implementing test-based activities into English classes and the present so uh, so a simple reading lesson, and alternative possibilities for reading reading activities, uh, which can help learners become uh, become uh, more active, more active, and a more critical reading. Uh, the fact uh, uh, the importance. Uh, the, the importance implementing the results uh, into practice. Uh, theoretical value of uh, this work is the title uh, study of points about the value of task uh, based materials of this work can be used uh, by uh, 
uh, any uh, content and the designated way of working uh, of working with uh, the material and the using it using it for their own methodology uh, and the practical classes. Uh, the structure of the research, uh, the work of uh, the work of introduction uh, to chapters, uh, conclusion. The first chapter, uh, 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 the first chapters uh, comprises uh, characteristics uh, of tasks. <laughs> Choose uh, test-based learning. Teacher and the learner. Uh, teacher and the learner rules in test-based test-based learning. Um, the second chapter, uh, sample of the lesson plans and the, uh, and uh, technological maps of the lesson. Uh, why do we use test-based learning approach? Uh, the first test uh, test can be easily related uh, to students' real-life language needs. Uh, they create contexts uh, that uh, facilitate second language uh, as question. Tests create uh, opportunities for, for uh, uh, focusing on form, uh, and that um, students are more motivated. Motivated. Mm. Roots in the uh, test based learning. Uh, about two, uh, uh, two rules uh, teacher's rule and the learner's rule. Uh, teacher's rule uh, it is uh, select tasks uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, prepare task. Uh, learner's, uh, learner's rule it is uh, go participant and the, uh, monitor. Uh, types of learning uh, and the teaching uh, activities. Discover uh, tasks, uh, information tasks, uh, problem, uh, pro problem solving tasks, uh, decision making tasks, and uh, uh, opinion uh, exchanging tasks. Instructional materials, it is books, uh, it, uh, books, uh, 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 it is books, uh, magazine, uh, CD, uh, uh, newspaper, um, TV, uh, TV, and the uh, workbook, workbooks. Uh, advantages of uh, task-based learning: it is uh, more students, uh, more students centered uh, about uh, two group. Uh, uh, more meaningful communication, uh, more uh, amb ambitious students. Dis disadvantages of test based learning, uh, difficulties in large classes and the familiar words and the, uh, forms, uh, emphasizing too much on tasks. Conclusion Test and test based learning in this paper is defined. Uh, as a series uh, of credit uh, activities that require uh, learners to work with uh, the target language with the purpose uh, of uh, of preparing learners uh, to meet the uh, challenge of real life, real, life, uh, real world function functions. Uh, it is uh, even that in this definition the language. Uh, um, the language um, is the means, uh, not the end. Language is the uh, uh, to conclude my presentation. I would like uh, to sum uh, to sum up with uh, a sentence: Test-based learning helps uh, students. Students to be uh, uh, to be in real life situations, uh, uh, as Benjamin uh, Benjamin Frank said, uh, "Tell me, uh, tell me, and I forget. Uh, I forget. Uh, I use it. Uh, I uh, and uh, teach me. I remember. Uh, teach me and I remember. Uh, and uh, 
uh, and involve our uh, I learn. Can you tell us about practical parts of your book? Mm, practical part? Yes. Uh, uh, the second um, the second chapter is uh, about my internship uh, internship at school. Um, uh, 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 theoretical value of uh, of uh, this work is a detailed study of points about the value of test-based learning. Uh, learning uh, at foreign language. Activities we have designed based on fast paced approach. Activities? No, she had some Uh, activities uh, handouts. Um, what kind of activities you have designed? Those are classes according to your topic. Just uh, go tasks, uh, inf information tasks. Uh, information gap. Yeah, information gap tasks. Uh, and then, um, problem solving tests, uh, decision making tests, and the opinion exchanging tests. What is information gap? Information yes. Are there any activities uh, that learners uh, uh, learners engage in to process uh, into pro process of learning language? <laughs> Has a so Thank you for your attention. So next time we're going to be doing is to my scientific work is about the form of meaning, response approach to teaching the English language. Scientific advice is conveyed to biological sciences in better to learn how to do
good morning, dear teachers and students. Uh, I'm Kamsha. Today I'm going to present my work on the theme, uh, the response, uh, the four meaning response approach to teaching poetry in English language. Um, first of all, um, my work consists of, in, uh, of an introduction to chapter, conclusion, and liturgies. Um, I would like to talk about the actuality of the work, uh, despite the fact that there are many works devoted to uh, the development of teaching poetry, uh, some important methods uh, of improving teaching poetry uh, with the forming response and uh, within the development of science, uh, uh, new uh, especially new methodology of teaching English uh, haven't been uh, investigated uh, yet, uh, enough yet. Uh, object of the work uh, of this paper uh, is uh, to demonstrate how uh, forming response uh, can influence students' uh, learning of foreign language. Uh, subject of the work uh, is the forming response approach to teaching poetry in language. Uh, the tasks uh, of research are uh, is research are uh, to determine the impact of forming response approach uh, in language classroom. Uh, uh, second one, to determine, uh, to identify the cognitive and affective benefits of foreign language uh, uh, forming response approach. Uh, third, uh, to find out the influence, uh, the find out influence of forming response approach on language learners. Uh, explore uh, the importance of forming a uh, response approach. Uh, so, what is poetry? Poetry, as no as a uh, literature genre, draws language learners' attention um, to such specific uh, specific linguistic elements as sounds of a language, as well as to sounds, functions, and patterning. Um, nearly every author um, of reviewed studies mentions. Uh, this unique pronunciation, elevating quality of poet, uh, quality of poetic genre. Uh, first of all, poetry helps students uh, to notice sounds, uh, phonetics, and phonology of a foreign or second language. It is important uh, because uh, to learn something, uh, students have to notice uh, this particular something. Uh, studies support uh, the assumption set. Um, Poetry reading tasks enhance uh, students' awareness in phonetic and linguistic items. Uh, so, advantage uh, of using teaching poetry in language. Uh, first, uh, poetry can be used uh, a valuable resource to introducing and practice language uh, by exposing students authentic model uh, real uh, language in context. Second, uh, poems provide uh, students with an opportunity uh, to enrich their vocabulary uh, in, a, in a new way uh, by offering meaningful uh, context uh, in which they could be used and they could be uh, remembered more effectively. Uh, third, uh, poems encourage students uh, in developing their creativity uh, while providing a break uh, from regular classroom, um, as students uh, uh, study the poem, they can simultaneously uh, discover uh, discover interesting ideas for creative uh, writing. Uh, personal invo involving in process of writing and uh, reading poetry uh, can become a source of motivation, uh, which it turns uh, elevate internalization of target language. Mm -hmm. Two main pedagogical approaches of uh, approach to teaching poetry, uh, poetry and literature have uh, their roots in literary criticism. Uh, first one, stylistic. Uh, stylistics, an approach uh, that analyzes uh, form, uh, form of Stylistic analysis, language form of the text. Mm -hmm. Second one, reader response approach. 
an approach that uh, that uh, concerns itself with with the reader's interaction with the text. Mm. Although this approach uh, approaches are typically considered mutually exclusive, uh, one way to marry uh, the two when uh, teaching poetry is to use uh, what uh, I call the for meaning response approach. Uh, the reader response approach approach moves the focus of uh, reading from the author and text to the reader. Mm -hmm. The approach treats uh, the creation of meaning as inseparable, uh, separable from the act of reading. Uh, so beneficial uh, role of poetry in second language acquisition, uh, such as pronunciation, development of uh, syntax, vocabulary, uh, development of uh, understanding discourse, um, as well as in students' motivation. Uh, by, introducing, uh, by introducing the activities of reading and writing, uh, poetry, uh, complexity, uh, developing uh, students' individual way of self-expression uh, and self-realization. Uh, Teaching poetry, uh, teaching poetry or literature is similar uh, to implementing uh, any English foreign language activity uh, in that teacher must consider uh, the language uh, level of students. So the material selected is um, uh, not so difficult. Uh, a good way to uh, uh, easy students uh, into a poetry lesson uh, is to give uh, give them uh, a general feeling for for the ideas presented uh, in the poem by providing a warm up activity and uh, alternative words uh, exercise. Uh, this is uh, multiple choice exercise. Listening close. Um, Students uh, fill in the blanks with the missing words. Uh, listing, um, students make a list of words of poem, uh, in a poem. Uh, next, uh, the above ex uh, exercises. Uh, the above exercises uh, focus attention on individual linguistic items and uh, um, students uh, to make choices based on a limited uh, context rather than uh, on the entire poem. Uh, next, uh, discuss uh, discussion question. Uh, students discuss uh, how they uh, uh, they would feel if uh, they were a character in the poem. Next, uh, true false exercises. True false exercises can be four meaning focus uh, focused uh, response focused or both depending on the type of written statement. Conclusion. Um, conclusion. The overall aim of using poetry is to make it possible and harmonious and interesting integration um, of literature, uh, literature in teaching, reading, and uh, writing, language learning. Our research uh, confirms. The fact that literature uh, helps to enhance not only uh, the learners' um, literary competence, uh, but also their uh, engaged development, their speaking uh, abilities, uh, enrichment. Moreover, literature is also a great uh, is also a great tool uh, to um, to build up uh, learners' cultural enrichment process. Uh, and increase their uh, increase their literature uh, where uh, the language is spoken. Uh, what is for meaning response approach and the classroom activities for meaning response approach? Uh, activities. Activities. Uh, activities. Uh, activities. Uh, activities. Uh, I I 
I used um, uh, many uh, any approach. Um, first one, uh, warm up activity. Uh, second one, alternative words exercises and listening close, listing above exercises, uh, discussion uh, question questions and true false exercises I used uh, during the lesson. <clears throat> Multicultural multiculturalism, what do you understand by this? Multiculturalism. Multiculturalism. Um, Multi, what is it? Multi. Good morning, dear teachers and students, uh, members of commissions. Uh, my full name is Sir Paiva Kumar Zalia uh, I am a graduate student from the group uh, 428. Uh, uh, when it comes to my uh, theme, um, is uh, linguistic and pragmatic features of English inversion. Uh, my research paper uh, consists of uh, in <coughs> introduction to two chapters, uh, conclusion and the reference list. Okay, uh, when it comes to my uh, actuality of, of the work, uh, is the object of cognition from the point of view pragmatics uh, uh, do not exist independently, uh, but uh, but are formed by uh, cognitive co co cognitive conditions uh, in the course of uh, solving practical problems. 